Now I'm still working on the over under, but attacking now the near arm. Okay. So what happens sometimes is as I throw my arm to the other side, trying to get my hand underneath his arm. Once I free his arm, blocking his hip, he brings his elbow tight against the mat. So I cannot hook under. Right. So I'm still blocking, still going around north and south. And now if I cannot get my arm under his arm here because his elbow is heavy, I'm going to start working on the other arm here. I'm going to get under this arm, palm up, and I'm going to hug his shoulder here. Okay? So once I hug his shoulder, I'm going to start going back to side control, putting a lot of weight now with my shoulder, leaning with this angle here. Right? I'm controlling the guy with my shoulder a lot. If I lift my knees off the mat, it's even more, right? For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna keep my knees on the mat here so he can breathe a little more. Cut his shoulder, and I have here the paper cutter, okay? I'm gonna pull his shoulder up and smash his throat with my forearm, okay? How do I do that? Cut his shoulder here, I want to make sure that he doesn't turn his head into me, otherwise I'm going to smash the side of his, his neck, I'm going to smash his muscles. It's not what I'm looking for, I'm looking to smash his track here. So if I'm here, I'm going to open my elbow to turn his head straight. Now if I put weight down with this elbow, extending my leg here, kind of sprawling on top of his neck, I have the choke, right? I can even sprawl my other leg too. Putting a lot of weight. I'm not going to demonstrate because it's brutal. Right? But shoulder pressure here, which gives me the angle for this arm. Right? If I'm completely flat, it's hard to grab his neck. So as I walk around, I was here, right? Over under. I trap his arm, palm up, walk around to north to side control, trapping his arm. His arm is trapped in between our ribs. Now he has only one arm to defend. Keep your head low to block his free arm as you work on the choke. Right? Control his shoulder, pressure down, open my elbow so he doesn't turn his face into me. And I drop my body weight. Not only my arm strength, but body weight behind his arm. Lean to the arm for the choke. Okay? Now, sometimes when I'm applying the choke here, since the if I do a good job, the guy cannot turn his face into me because I'm opening my arm, my elbow. So he might try to turn away. If he turns away, my sh because I'm still on my shoulder, I can pass my leg over his head. Right? So he's trying to run away, turn into his side, and pass my leg over. Right? Because I'm dipping this shoulder down, it's easier. I'm putting weight off my shoulder, it's easier to pass my leg over. As I pass my leg over, I lift the other one, squatting. And I'm gonna, the hand that's choking the guy, I slide to the wrist, pinch my knees together. And I have the arm bar here. You already know, if he tries to hitchhike escape, I turn his hand to the other side and crank it this way. Or if he really goes, I go to the home part. Now for the finish, I can control the shoulder here, open my elbow, and also lift his shoulder with my hand, right? Because he might turn his head into me and prevent the choke, but also if he turns to his side, he also prevents the choke, right? So I don't want him turning to his side by using my shoulder pressure and lifting this shoulder here. If I lift this shoulder, he cannot turn to his side, and I'm gonna apply the choke here, okay? Also, another variation here is Maybe he's already turning his head this way and I cannot find his chin to open his head and turn the other side. So I'm going to cross face the guy here. I cross face, turning his head that way and I'm going to come with my hand from the back door here. I circle. My wrist is still turning his head that way as I catch the neck. All right, so if his head is already turning this way and cannot find his chin, I cross face, turn his head that way, still shoulder pressure, and now look, my hand come, I don't let him turn into me, try to turn your head into me, my, my wrist turns his head that way, 
as I circle. And I have my choke here again. Boom. Again, if he decides to turn away, my shoulder pressure allows me to throw my leg and sit down. Pinch my knee so I don't lose his arm and slide this hand from the choke to the wrist. And I have my arm bar here. 